good afternoon, good morning, good evening, good whatever time of day it may be for you, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Layback Gamer, and we're back with another video. I'm not sure what it is, but it is bound to be, hopefully, a very exciting one. So yeah, we're back. And, well, you read the title, so you know exactly what we're going to be doing. So, if you like the video, leave a like. Maybe even consider subscribing if you really like the video. Ooh, that'd be very nice if you did. And, well, yeah. So sit, so go on, grab some food and a beverage. Maybe not one that's that fancy. Sit back and enjoy the show. And would you look at that? Willow Run has been built. So I get three aircrafts. I can turn two citizens into engineers. Plus two unhealthiness with Borgios. Plus one health with Marxist. You can build air units 100% faster. And you know, that's kind of it. Pretty nice. I'll take it. They put over 100 million transistors on a tiny piece of silicon. On that piece of silicon, there are more lines than there are on a road map of London, and they work. There are very, very few errors in a microprocessor. Interesting quote. We now unlock the missile cruiser, as well as the software developer, and get personal electronics factory, which we get personal electronics from. Also, uh, personal electronics as the uh, as an improvement or a new resource. Oh, sweet! A village upgrade. Wow. Oh yeah. By the way, I forgot to mention uh, a while ago, as in I think last week. I spent some time going through a bunch of my cities and queued up a bunch of buildings, so we shouldn't be interrupted by many of those anytime soon, which is fantastic for me, because that takes up a lot of time. And look at that, we've officially researched the Pentagon. By research, I mean construct. <laughs> Sorry, a uh, workout brain at the moment. My brain isn't working too properly. But anyways, this is a very nice building because it grants, well, plus two unit experience, and that's all units in every city. So hopefully, some of the troops that we're producing are going to get an extra promotion. And we get plus one with totalitarianism, plus two with nationalhood, and plus two anger with pacifism. And also, Two points to Great Spy. Okay, we now have George Whitefield as a great prophet. Also known as George White... George, George Whitfield, not like, okay. Was an English Anglican preacher who helped spread the Great Awakening in Britain and especially in the American colonies. He was one of the most widely recognized public figures in colonial America. Very interesting quote. I mean, a uh, description of him. Oh, and look at that. We also got Alcatraz, which gives a free safety Alcatraz in every city. And I believe that does like minus five or minus ten to crime. But the big thing is minus seventy-five to crime in that city. <laughs> uh, wonderful. Oh, hello, San Diego. Got the news show Wastin. Yeah, I'm guessing that's a cat. That's a castle. So we got another golden age on top of our. This is we're just never leaving a golden age. This is not a golden age, ladies and gentlemen. This is a golden eternity at this point. Ooh, I like that one. Hopefully, when I eventually remember, when I not remember, when I eventually get to editing this episode, hopefully I name it the Golden Eternity. We also get plus one happiness in all cities on the continent, and plus one production from all nobles in every city, and eight to tourism. What? I think we'll put this great prophet in the city of Mohawk. I could swing him over to uh, the Slain, but I think Mohawk deserves a little bit of love too, as being 
You know, not the largest city, uh, Philadelphia's clearly got them beat out, but still, it will help them out in a bit. For a, it'll help them to go a long way. Alrighty. It is time to stage our coup against the Aztecs. Oh, let's make an outright ludicrous demand. Oh, well, they accepted that one. All right. What? No, 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 you, you're supposed to... <laughs> Declare war on me already! Why won't you declare war on me? Why don't you declare war on me? <sighs> Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> declare war on me, dang it. Well, I'm just gonna tell him everything. Okay, tell you what, you give me all of that. Two. Okay, hold on. Why won't he declare war on me? Don't like... <sighs> Alright, very well then. Pull our troops back. I'm vastly disappointed. Like, unbelievably so. I just want the Northern Territories back under my control. How hard is it to accept that? Ooh. Hang on a second. Hang on a second. I might be able to sleek... Slick control away from this city here. And with the, uh... Hopefully these two barbarians actually attack this city. That would be nice. Is there any other way I could declare war? Let me declare... Hold on, I'm, I'm gonna see if maybe I could declare war by bombarding their defenses. But dang it, let me declare war on them. I want to take the, my, the territory back. Ugh. I really do sound like a warmonger, don't I? Well, that might throw a wrench kink in the plans. Uh, if nothing else, I kind of have to wait for either barbarians to rise up or their borders... Well, really, we continue to border push them in all, the, all of our opponents inward. Should theoretically be able... What the heck? Great merchant from Rod. Theoretically, if we keep, you know, doing what we're doing, make sure the borders are all expanded. Hmm, actually, that gives me an idea. I have an idea. Let's see here, what do you currently have? Open borders. Is there anything that causes fixed borders among them? Well, there's nothing in mine that causes fix that, ha that causes me to have fixed borders. Uh, gotta look into this. I'll look into this for a little bit and then see what we get from there. Okay, so I don't think there's any text that he has available that will cause will close borders to happen with them. But I do believe cities are not looking very good at the moment in terms. Oh no, they're actually quite safe. Hmm. Huh. Might have to do a bit of sabotage of his cities. The only way to do that is by building some buildings. Building a specific building. I think uh, we have the crime to be able to handle this. So... 
with that in mind, let's see here. We need a military advantage. Mob front can spot a mobster. Uh, let's see. So what do these guys do? Hmm. We'll need to do a bit of research. So let's do some research. All right, so I didn't include it. Well, hopefully I won't include it, but I did see that about one of the highest two units I can build is a robber. And I just need, the best part is, this building will not spawn in, unlike the mobster storefront, which will spawn the mobster her car, this building here won't spawn any, any units in. So I'm going to grab one of these uh, chop shop and wheel wheel units. Maybe we might pick that up. I'll need to recruit a couple of the, uh, the police officers we have down here, or the APCs, and put them in the city for when we build these. Yeah, you know what? Let's get the, uh, we'll grab the chop shop too while we're at it. I think they're wheeled vehicles, so any, uh, the experience we can put towards them would be fantastic. I don't think, uh... No, these guys won't help out. Alright, so. Now that we got those building, let's grab two police APCs. We'll grab the third one as well. And then we'll... Well, we'll eventually get a third one once a third one produces from Alexandria. Throw it an elephant team to be able to counteract all the criminal gains that it's going to have, that the new buildings are going to have. And then, I'm going to start pumping out some, uh, pumping out some extra units. Help deal with, well, essentially to encourage these guys to back off. And is that to die off. That's the plan. And because they are much, they have... A st much stronger guard or strength than the most of these guys here should be able to should be able to accomplish our plan. Might even try that on the Dutch as well. Get the barbarians to swoop in. We take over the city, and now it's ours. Might even consider doing that up here in Campen as well. We can lower that guy's defense enough for the next spawn of barbarians to take him out. We take it out, and then we can take take Campen for ourselves. I just realized that I had my microphone muted that entire time. Anyways, uh, what I had said was, we were down to two cities, I checked to see if Egypt would want to capitulate. They said they would, however I also saw they had three cities. Realized I forgot about this one, turned my troops that I had, I was having these guys coming back over to here, to eventually get, uh, like, a, a re reinforcements. And... Well, now they're coming down to here. They're going to go after Deshur. While we have the main boys go after Cherokee. And then finally, to end it off, uh, Marian. Or Marian, I think that's the name of it. We also have natural gas there, which would be a nice wonder to finally get. Uh, I already have, I think I have titanium already. If not, I should get it. Got rubies, and yeah. This is almost over. Oh, actually, I just realized something. Uh, the Spanish are in because are, tech, are still alive because there's this city here. But if I were to say take my army from here to here to take the city out while we wait for our uh, robbers to come in and you know assassinate some people in this city to make it easier for the barbarians to take it over, uh, we could take it. We could get another city, take out the Spanish put ourselves one step closer to controlling the northern tip of this island. I like that idea. I like it a lot. Where are these barbarians? Oh, and these barbarians might crash into the city here and take it for me, which would mean I could then move some more troops over here and take the city for myself. Honestly, ladies and gentlemen, I see all of this as an absolute win at the moment. Ah, I, the barbarians that I once cursed are now helping me out greatly. Soon it will be a sin for parents to have a child which carries the heavy burden of genetic disease. Ah. Yeah, uh, 
probably going to reach that point. Honestly, I'd say within the next, uh, probably next 20 years, I'd say. Within the next 20 years, probably. Anyways, uh, we have obsolete the shrine, the ancient veterinarian, the dog kennels. Well, it's got a lot of uh, research beakers towards a bunch of other labs. More importantly, we got the MRL lab, the medical organs lab, and the gene forgery crime. Oh, well, that was a crime. And also, uh, Valbard Global Seed Vault. Oh my god, that's a lot. Okay. I definitely want to get a seed vault. Definitely want to get this wonder, so we'll need to we'll need to find a city that's capable of building this. We require refrigeration, refrigerate two refrigerator factories. I might have some of the, I might have those already, but we'll have to check. And this, uh, oh, we also get the human genome program. All cities in the world receive plus one health. It's a wor one world project. And all players' cities receive plus one health. So whoever builds it gets an additional plus one health and 10% gold in all cities. I want to see what we can, who can build that. And by the way, the first of our mob enforcers. Hmm. What do we got here? Uh, false tooth poison. Void capture. What is this here? Oh, assassinate units in the same time. Yeah, we don't want to be assassinating our guys. Let's see, stealth strike, we'll go backstab, 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 backstab. I want three of these robbers coming out, so cue me up a third robber. Oh, these are thugs. If I, uh, I'm gonna hex the robbers, oh, maybe I have to rush this one out. I gotta rush this one out, don't I? There she is. All right, we're gonna have three robbers pop out. Uh, we'll mark them up as there. There are hidden nationality, which is good. So I don't have to worry about this uh, coming back to me. Hopefully. This feels very much, uh, if anybody has played StarCraft, I feel very much like that. Like the, uh, like uh, Arcturus Mengsk going in with, uh, like, trying to plot out the demise of my enemies. Actually, no, sorry, the uh, Confederacy, where we uh, we send ruffians and violent gangs into Call the City defenders. They don't have any. Uh, they don't have any ties to us, and it's like what happened with the uh, in game. Only, you know, instead of declaring war against people, uh, I want to go to the revolt. Where's the revolt happening at? Oh, right there. Because this time, we'd be coming in and look like the heroes for potentially stamping them out. So, let's, uh, let's just pull our troops back. Especially since I think these musket men might attempt to... It might start. It might attempt to start taking out these guys here. But we'll want to have a force ready to go to capture the city. We'll pull the gar this garrison away. If need be, we can always have them launch an immediate attack in order to claim the city. By the way, this uh, this should yeah. So the crime is back down again, which is good to see. Good to see that. You guys over here. I'm just recording for the last bit of the turn because I got one more rep to left to do in my workout. A bit lightheaded at the moment, so I'm just trying to just trying to kill a bit of time before, until I'm ready to go for that. Uh, oh, this hill's actually closer than the city. We can position the troops here. We'll heal up here, and then we're two turns away from being able to go attack the city. Keep moving, please. You guys, a uh, factory, or can I build a factory there? I'd rather build a factory there then, so get a farm. And yeah, look at that. Another six, quite a successful bit. I'm um, looking at the German Empire, and I'm thinking these guys are going to be pretty difficult to take. Well, not difficult, but annoying to take out. 
just because they are scattered all over the place. They're uh, gonna be super fun to take out. Oh, so much fun. The Ottomans out of the game? No, the Ottomans still have a quite a sizable empire here. Quite a sizable empire. I need the Mayans to hurry up and be eliminated from the game. Which, honestly, if, uh, if things keep going poorly in their city, maybe I might need to... Uh, this is... I, I'm, I feel very evil for thinking this, but maybe I need to... Maybe I need to make more of these uh, enforcement squads, move them around the different vassals in my empire, just slowly start whittling away at their city defenses, make the citizens angry, they revolt, capture the city, I then move in with my army and take the city, and then reinforce it with my own garrison. Uh, yeah. That's, uh, not gonna lie, pretty deplorable, but at the same time, it's gonna get the results I want. Speaking of results, I think I need to turn this guy over into making police APCs. So, I've gotta figure that out, but I won't let, I won't let... I don't need to have you guys sit through that. And then I could use another city that's producing uh, disease fighting. So yeah, if we're going to do this strategy, and I think it could be a useful strategy for eliminating all of our vassals, so it is worthwhile, we're going to want to make sure that, A, we keep the crime fighting, the, uh, the criminal units up and ahead of anything that our allies can produce, and B, we got to make sure that we have proper troops trained up in order to go in and take out the city. Or take the city over for ourselves. I'm thinking... These two... Th this combination of cities, here, here, and here, can start to produce the troops that I want. The only issue is i got to cancel a lot of things. A lot of things in here. Or I... Start rushing gold. Slash... Hmm. I gotta take a look at the each of these and see what's left. Oh, this guy look. Uh, gotta see which one is more ahead in terms of its. Oh, this one is. This one is. This one has a much smaller uh, bar than the other one. So I'm gonna want to tailor this city to start producing these freight. These freights. We can have four each. So we have freights coming to into each of these cities to help speed it up. How long does it take to produce three turrets? I'll see if I can start spending gold in this city in order to get this down to two, maybe one turn. Then, once we're done with that, we'll begin pouring gold and we'll pour freights into one of the two cities, gold into the other one, and we'll get the infrastructure queued up afterwards. And then, once the uh, once that that city, one of the other two remaining cities is done and ready to go, we'll then queue up. Uh, we, we can have freights producing in both cities, throwing them into the other, the final city, and then using gold on that city. And with all three cities primed and ready to go, we'll be able to start producing units that we need in order to. Uh, so, a defending type unit from one city, a crime fighting unit in another, and a disease fighting unit in the third. I think that will do. Maybe I might throw in one of these guys. I don't know what, what can an ecologist get. I think I trained one up at one point. I don't believe it was worth it. Might be. Maybe. We'll see. But anyways... I'm gonna do that all off camera so I so you guys don't have to watch that. Alright, we're in range of Cherokee now. Let's go ahead and get the bombardment going. And then uh we'll, we'll send in the infantry boys. So go ahead and crash into the city. Sweet! City's ours. I would like a new governor, please. We'll install that and we can get the myth of the land form going. All right, and before we end this, I'm gonna need to quickly grab a couple troops. Grab three of these, plus two of these, send them into the city, uh, the new city, and that's that city's garrison, which is very excellent. Let's get drill on that guy there. Very nice. 
Nice and ooh, and our next mobster car is ready to go. Excellent. All right, robber boys, let's make some mischief happen. See what we can do. <laughs> All right, we can sabotage our steel plans. I can conduct a trade mission. I can destroy production. Or I can infiltrate the player's cities. Hmm. Or I can start assassinating people. I think that's the best choice of play that we can make with these robbers. So, uh, let's get going. I guess I can only do one. I need to get this city enough to a point where it wants to revolt. Sadly, it doesn't look like it's going to do that anytime soon. Which is, uh, problematic. Maybe I could do something about that. Alright, I'll have... This robber did the attack. This one did. Alright, robber, you go ahead and infiltrate the city. What is that done? Okay, uh, that's... Not sure if that made a population revolt. We'll have to see what we can do. Uh, I can steal plans. I guess maybe I steal some plans. And, oh, look at that. I can see all of their borders. That's interesting. Means I also know where the Spanish are. I can send my boys in to go take out the Spanish. I think we're at war with them currently. No, we're not. Well, we're about to be. Your head would look very good on the end of a pole. So, let's take the city out. And we got another city. Oh joy, I get to work on another city. Oh, and we also got the research for modern art. Fine art? that in which the hand, the head, and the heart of man go together. From John Ruskin. We got three wonders as well. The Jinti Center, which gives a free art out gallery in every city. The, the Bajas School, which gives plus two production and from artists and plus two culture from engineers and great engineers. I could turn three people into a great artist. And lastly, the Coit Tower, which gets plus four culture to fire brigade at stations, docks, and hangars. Uh, plus two happiness with egalitarian. Plus one with anger with oigios, or four geos, geos. Which I'm butchering that pronunciation. And then plus one happiness from all fire brigades, fire stations, fire docks, and fire hangars. Very nice. All right, so something that I realized is the robber cars we got, that's really not the best use for them. No, what's the, be the best use for them is a little something called corruption. So by having a pawn with this level of corruption standing on the tile, we get a 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 times 2. Sorry, that, that, that's not quite what I meant. We got, uh, let's see, 24, 28, uh, 36, and we'll add, uh, 60, so that's 36, 12, 48, 68, oops, and plus another, uh, 60, so that's, uh, 76, 84 points of of a 84 points on one pawn of crime on one guy. Go over to here. Uh, currently, it's at 206. We were to have this guy vacate the tile. Let's say go to here. Now check again. 
Oh, I guess it has to stay on a tile, but... We would actually cause the city to go up and cry by having this guy just exist. So, currently, this city, uh, you know, it's not doing bad on crime. It's currently sitting at, uh, 197, or plus 53 per turn. If we get this guy over there in two turns. <laughs> then we're gonna start to cause some mayhem. And if we can get these guys to revolt enough, we can eventually have we can eventually have their city leave. Why is that guy why why is he making a mega farm? Oh. Okay. Interesting. Not good that they have that level of tech, but anyways. Um we will, yeah, so we're just going to have them camp on these two cities, drive the crime through the roof, have the barbarians take over the cities. I like that plan. And welcome back. You have made it to the end of the video. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed, hit that subscribe button if you really enjoyed, maybe share this video to anybody who you think will enjoy my content, and also don't forget to check out some of my other stuff. I don't only, I'm not only doing this game, but I also have done a ton of other games. Well, a ton, I think, cap, well, I'm not sure how many games I've done at this point, but anyways, here's a little, small little bit of collection of games that I've done. If you look on screen, it should take you to either another video or a playlist. Maybe you'll enjoy that. Perhaps you might not. I don't know. We will find out. Hope you all enjoyed, and until next one, take it easy.